it'll all work out. It will. It will all work out. Everything's fine. Just keep repeating that. Say that. Ten times fast. It has to. It always does. It doesn't matter. We're okay. Stop fucking worrying. When you stop worrying about whether it'll work out, it will be fine. We have like, we have I think 1600 in the bank. I mean, that's when I last checked. Last week. So uh, we probably have about a thousand. All right, and then, you know, uh, uh, we can get by on that. I mean, we have to pay the phone and, and, and the con ed and the internet and the dentist and the orthodontist and the endodontist and physical therapy and, and, uh, and the meds. So we have about 200. But it'll work out. I mean, just, just breathe. You'll be fine. Stop thinking about it. About how fucked up things are. You're not a failure. That's just those tapes. You know, those tapes, that, that committee. The committee that says you're not enough. You'll never get past this and it'll always be this way. It won't always be this way. It never stays this way. Sometimes it's another way. For a little while. And then it goes back to being this way. It's always like this. Everywhere I fucking turn, it's a fucking maze, and there's a wall, and I'm a rat in a cage with no way out, and uh, I'm on that stupid treadmill. What a fucking terrible, fucked up metaphor for life, that stupid hamster on the wheel. Jesus Christ. They, they, they do that because they need to, though, right? I mean, that, that's why they design those wheels, because the pet hamster is in a cage, and they have nowhere else to go, and they're not upset. No, no, they, they like running on the wheel. They, they, that's like what they did in the wild. <laughs> but before we made them pets and put them in a cage and, and behind glass where everybody's staring at them. In the wild, they like to run w without getting anywhere. Just run, you know, straight ahead. Pulling on a metal rung, like, like, like rungs on a ladder that, that curves around them in, a, in, in their little bodies in a wheel. They had to do this. It was designed for them. Please, please tell me some humane animal researcher studied the, the, the little hamsters and, and, and said, you know, this wheel is, is really much better for them and it calms them down and it, it gets their brain waves mellowed out and everything. Please, they, they need to run around the wheel. We didn't do this because, because it's a horrible fucking metaphor for, for our fucking damn pathetic lives which are going nowhere, nowhere fast. No, no fucking way. We're not like that. Everything's going to be fine. I mean, just the fact that I can reason things out. You know, the hamster, the wheel, the, the, uh, these observations, the wish uh, for that, you know, humane uh, animal researcher or scientist. Is, it means I'm a better person and, and I see things differently and it'll be okay. It'll be fine. Uh, but seriously, we could need, we really need more fucking money. <laughs> Wrote that yesterday. Um, Got a minute and a half. So minute and a half. Yeah. Whoa. All right. Uh, well, I'll just do a little bit of this. So, so I'm working on the. You know, this thing is a story about my life as a uh, creative artist uh, disguised as an IT consultant in corporate America. <laughs> I'm still trying to get out of the fucking disguise, and I'm also trying to write this story for this. It's changed. It's evolved. It, it, I just can't stop it. So this whole thing's about story, and I mean, we all want a story. You know, the beginning, the middle, and end. You know, like the moth. You know, everybody's talking about the moth. You know, damn, I mean, drama, you know. It's like life. Life has a beginning, middle, and end, right? I mean, you know, you know, the birth is the beginning. The middle. The middle is just this smeared miasma of incidents and happenings, disconnected occurrences and eerie coincidences that ultimately have no significance or meaning whatsoever. <clears throat> so we're in the middle of the story in, in our lives. Where's the climax? Did we reach our climax? Shit, I don't even know if I even had a climax. So, so fuck, yeah, stories. We want to hear stories because they're shorter and they're more compact and more complete than our lives. They make so much more sense. We need the solace of pace and the comfort of the completion of resolve. So tell me a story. And with a minute, I'm going to leave it at that. Huh.